we skipped ahead in the future. Right, Zoe? But anyways, today is Friday. About to go get a full body workout with my guy Mark. And we're going to film it for you guys. Or at least I'm going to film it. Maybe it'll help me out if he's feeling generous. But it's going to be a full body workout. I'm working up to a top set of 5 to 7 reps on bench. Looking for around 220, 225. If I do hit that for 225, that will be a PR. First time I've ever hit 225 by 5. I'm not going to jinx it, but we'll see. Talk to you guys in just a bit. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys in a bit. Look who I finally got come to the gym with me. Look who it is. Nah. And in like the automatic recliners we got in the basement. Mark's got a freaking bed that's like, like me, me. What kind is it? Adjustable frame or adjustable. No, what's the frame? name of the brand? I don't know. It's like repeating something. Oh, no use. Motor that's in my. Motor that's in your what, Mark? You're in your. But yeah, as I just said, um, I finally got this cat over here. This is his third week in a row getting one workout in. Hey, but hey, no, no, no. I was thinking about it today, and you know, that's really solid. And it's good to show you guys because he's worked out. He's done a full body workout once a week. And he's been doing a lot more things at home in terms of getting up in the morning, doing things like stretching and just like the warm-up kind of that we're doing before our lifts. He'll do that in the morning. And it's really helping him because if you don't know, he's like 6'7". No, 6'6". I can't give you that much credit. And... He has like obviously being tall or back problems, that sort of shit. Hold on. And um, anyways, I think it's one of those things where you can really benefit from just doing a little bit to start. And then once you get sustainable with that, then you can really build upon that. But anyways, we're about to get a full body workout in. Um, I already mentioned earlier what I'm going to be working up to on bench. Hopefully, don't say the number. Mark, Don't tell Mark either. But yeah, talk to you guys at the gym. Lay pre-workout of choice today is... Lay bang. Lay this is my favorite. Fa my fa I can't even say it. This is my favorite flavor. Uh, Mark's really mad at his phone, guys, because it's Bluetooth. He gets mad when I film this too. But I'm definitely going to include this because when he looks back, he's going to be like, damn, that was dumb. It's just Bluetooth. Bluetooth. No, it's my fucking car not working. They already have interest. Marketing, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, for sure. Well, not like I said, we were already like doing, like people were, we were killing it really with just having the Facebook page and then basically I would send them all the content through email or I would just link them to my Vimeo and then they were doing it from there. But I think having not only the testimonials and then just uh, an actual website sort of, that like actually looks legit when you type it in or click on it, not Vimeo.com, which is fine, but it's not as legit as it could be. So, no, I totally think that's that would be perfect. All right, what is going on, guys? So as you're gonna see, I'm gonna be warming up for my bench top sets here, working up to 225, which I end up hitting, which you'll see. But really, like I was mentioning in the last video, you don't want to be warming up to a point where you're exhausting yourself for your top sets. You want to be able to execute those as much as you can, but you do want to warm up enough so you're not getting hurt. So anyways, just want to make that a point, but here's my top set, guys. Let's go. It's like... Definitely overreached a little bit there. Um, I probably shouldn't even have gone for 225 today. I know it really wasn't in the cards, but um, yeah, that's just getting the, your own brain getting the best of you thinking you need to go for these big weights. But I was happy that's tying my PR. I fit four reps only at 225 all time. So considering all the other factors, which don't really matter, it's just excuses anyways, but I've just been stressed out with a lot of stuff lately, just a lot going on. Nutrition's not bad as on um, point as it could be. Hydration, all those things. So if those were all in line, and um, considering they weren't, and I still hit that, it's good to hear, but um, it's good to see. So, anyways, moving on with the workout. But don't be like me, kids. All right, so as I just mentioned there, guys, I really should not have gone for that 225, and there's a lesson within this for myself as well as you guys where you really need to trust not only the inner voice that you have where it's like, hey, play it safe here, 
because it's going to elicit more gains, exponential gains in the long run. But by that I mean if I would have gotten 220 for maybe 5 reps, 6 reps, or 7 reps, that is more overall volume in the long run than what I would have gotten by just those 4 reps that I hit, hit at 225. So overall, just think about what you're going to be doing if you do hit failure. My form broke down, my butt came off the bench. There's just a lot of things I wasn't happy with there. So keep that in mind, guys. Like I said, take this um, as a lesson for me um, that I am still learning. <laughs> so you really have to focus in on being realistic with yourself, making sure that you are on point so you can feel confident with each individual top set that you're taking for that day. So then I moved on to a full body workout. Basically, I did um, some face pulls after the top sets of bench. Then I moved on to a tri set of lat pull downs. Um, curls as well as band push downs and then I hit a little bit of lower body with some step ups um, some plyo lunges as well as squat jumps which you guys are probably like what are those plyo lunges and squat jumps I like to stay athletic that's why the channel is called Ankle Athletics um, and I don't want to become that one dimensional so really great try set I've utilized back even when I pole vaulted in track and field um, and really good burner but overall guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next one thanks for watching and one last thing I actually failed to mention, I will be having Manny Drexler on my first Ankle Athletics podcast, which will be my solo podcast tomorrow night. So that will be up Wednesday, hopefully, if not Tuesday at the soonest. So stay tuned for that, guys. I know you guys love seeing Manny on the channel. So stay tuned and make sure you guys check that out in a few days. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy, guys.